In this tutorial, I'm going to cover the effects preset dialog. So firstly, how do we get to this effects preset dialog? If we right click anywhere in our sequence area, we get the context menu and you can see here we get effects presets. Now, what is the purpose of this? So let's imagine that we are playing around with X lights and we create an effect like this and we think oh this is something that we would like to use at another time or we would like to share it with others we have the ability to save this preset so we can use it in other sequences uh, this could also be used for moving effects from one sequence to another as well so let's have a look at this so let's go back to our effects preset dialog now the first thing i would suggest is if you're going to be using this a long time, this window can end up a real mess as you import sequence, uh, import effects and create new effects. So organize yourself in some way. Now, how I do it is I tend to allocate different groups for different types of props because not all effects work on all types of props. Some effects make more sense on a mega tree or a matrix. Now, what this means is sometimes I may have an effect that appears in two places. If it's, if it's an effect that works particularly well on a spinner, I will put it under the spinner. But if it also works in another area, I will put it elsewhere. But what I also do, sometimes I see an effect that I quite like, but I don't have time to test where it will work. So I'll just put it under a group untested so, so I can keep my interface clean. So once you've created all these different groups that make sense to you, and this is nice and simple, if you want to add a new group, you just set, uh, click on the top layer, click add group, and then you can just say, you know, call this group, hello. And you see we've created a new group. But you can also create groups within groups. So if you look here, I've got a group called moving patterns. If I open it, I have got subgroups as well. So, you know, keep yourself organized. So now let's look at actually turning this group, this effect here, and saving it. So all we need to do is select all of the layers that make up the effect. So in this case, it's just a two layer effect. And then we can just right click, go to our effects presets. And I'm just going to put it in the bottom area, you know, just in the root of the system. And all I need to do now is click new preset and I'll give it a name. So I'll call this, you know, fills demo. And what X lights will do now, it will render, you know, a preview of what it may look like on the prop. And you can see we have one called Phil's demo here. At this point, if we want to copy that elsewhere, yeah, so if I imagine I'm here in a, in a new sequence and I want to use that effect, just right click, effects preset. I select the appropriate preset, in this case, Phil's demo. Now what I must ensure is when I look at this preset, this first number here is telling me how many layers this preset will take. Okay, in this case, it's two, and I have two layers set up. If that's not the case, if this, imagine this took three layers, we must go to our mega tree or wherever we are pasting the effect and insert, insert a layer to give us the extra layers that we need. But once we're happy, we can just click apply preset and you can see, it's put that preset into our sequence. Now, what we can also do is, if now we think, oh, that's really nice, I think this would be useful to other people, we can actually export this preset. So we click export, I'll go to my desktop and I'll give it, and I'll call, leave it as Phil's demos X preset, save. Equally now, we can now give that to someone else, but someone may also want to share an effect with us. So we can actually 
download a, a preset, import. And I will import this one called Candy Wheel Preset. And you can see it's brought in a preset. And when I want to use this, you just click Apply Preset. Oh, let's make sure I've selected on my timeline. Apply Preset. And you can see now on my mega tree here, I have that preset. And one final element of the effects preset is the ability to search. So over time, you may end up with lots and lots of items in here. So you can use the search functionality to find the type of preset that you're looking for. So I hope that this short tutorial was useful and see you next time.